Good afternoon, good evening, this is John Paul Wright. I'm coming from Tokyo, Japan. Today we're talking about Game of Thrones and this petition that's going around that says the finale season of Game of Thrones should be redone with better plot lines, basically. So right here you can see Game of Thrones petition more than 500,000 demand season 8 remake. So I saw a video on this like six hours ago that said 425,000. So either that was off, and I don't think it was off because I trust the person, and now it's 500,000. I guess this thing was updated. I don't know. Okay, let me get into just a little bit about this. And first of all, I want to just say one thing. So this is kind of connected to kind of a judgment of the petition. We got to talk about how realistic this thing is if we're going to talk about it at all. So basically, this guy here is saying that Game of Thrones has about 35 million subscribers to HBO, $10 a month, which makes them around 300 to 400 million. That's just a subscription income, which is monthly, apparently. So about 400 million per season plus merchandise. Okay, so yeah. So TV plus merchandise DVDs, somewhere around 500 million per season. So this thing has made them something like $3.5 billion, somewhere around there. My math isn't perfect, but, you know, in the billions, three, four billion, somewhere around there. So my point is, they've made their money on this thing. So what's the motive to remake it? The thing is, there's going to be a spin-off show. And now, <laughs> obviously, if Benioff and Weiss, who people are calling Dumb and Dumber, make this spin-off show, well... They might lose the trust of quite a few of these fans. Now, let's think about this probability-wise. There's about 35 million fans. I say 35 million. I'm counting the people who are subscribed and paying for the show, by the way. There's more than that. But let's just, you know, take it at the business angle in that sense. And 500,000 of them have signed this petition. How many of them know about the petition? The HBO YouTube channels have probably... I don't know, maybe 70% more downvotes than upvotes, and, you know, obviously their, their dislikes are way up, no matter what Game of Thrones is doing. Plus, Game of Thrones channels, who don't want to be involved and just want to talk about the characters and theories, are just getting dislikes because people are mad and they're disliking the series. I feel bad for them, you know, oh well. Let me read just a little bit of this, just the things I found interesting. David Benioff and D.B. Weiss have proven themselves to be woeful, incompetent writers when they have no source material, which is the big thing going around. Once the books ended, then it fell apart, and they even screwed up a few things from the book, but I'll argue they did a pretty good job for the first half of the entire show, if not a little more than the first half. The series deserves a final season that makes sense, subvert my expectations, and make it happen, HBO. Okay. I don't want these two anywhere near Star Wars. Thank you. This was abysmal, wrote a third. But are they really going to do worse than Ryan Johnson? I don't think they can do worse than Ryan Johnson because the main problem in Star Wars isn't necessarily bad writing. It's that they destroyed characters we loved. So that can't happen with Benioff and Weiss. So it, no matter what, it's going to be better than The Last Jedi. Bad writing alone can't be better than The Last... Can't be worse than The Last Jedi. I almost said better. Okay, here we go. Referencing... Showrunners Benioff and Weiss's next project, helming an upcoming film in another beloved fantasy franchise. And this is the thing, guys. Like, it almost makes me think, like, they're doing so bad with the creativity for these major, major franchises. It almost makes me think it's deliberate. I'm really... I got a tinfoil hat here. I can't imagine not being able to get competent writers to finish these things. Even with Game of Thrones, which is more difficult than Star Wars, probably... A lot of amateur writers could have, like, tied it up a little bit better had they, you know, just known the characters fairly well, at least seen all the seasons, at least maybe given the books one good read. It just seems like they're out to do this. It almost seems like they're out to spoil entertainment and prove some point that we need different entertainment or something because the old way wasn't good. That's my tinfoil hat. I'm not saying that's, like, my concrete theory, but, yeah, it's getting, getting a little nuts. So here you could see it says more than 300,000 people. Apparently this was seven hours ago. The one that says 500,000 that I'm posting now says an hour ago. So there's actually no way for us to know the real, real number. But it's safe to assume it's well in the hundreds of thousands, upwards towards half a million. And 
that leads us to the other thing. Do petitions ever, ever really happen? I can't remember ever some petition about an entertainment thing happening. If it's about a law or something that happens in town and it's like a government issue, and maybe, but this is entertainment. Also, there's this theory that the books are going to come out following the show, and the books have been notoriously missing for years and years. I think the last book was finished like, I don't know, eight or nine or ten years ago, a really long time ago, over five years ago. And, you know, my theory and a couple of other people, I suppose, this is online, so I guess a lot of people have these theories, is that George R. R. Martin is going to release the books after the show ending. And I said possibly it's going to be a disappointing show ending, so people want to get the real ending. Because a lot of people consider the books the real thing. I do. Let's get real. It's his series. Benioff and Weiss, like people are calling out, are dumb and dumber. They're just two guys who happen to really like the books. They really like the books. They figured out who John's mother was early on. They got the job. That's who they are. And the guy who plays Sir Barristan on Game of Thrones says, What I've been told is that George has already written the books 6 and 7, which are the final books, which is what everyone's waiting for, and which is one reason I'm not going crazy about the ending is because it's not Game of Thrones. It's just the fun HBO show. Whatever happens, happens. I'm a fan of the books. So, you know... You know, I thought about getting mad, but I'm like, wait a minute, it's just a show. It puts some nice faces on the characters for the ones I like. Like, you know, I, I read Jon Snow, now I think of Kit Harringer, 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 Harringer. I'm so bad with actors' names. You know, I see Sansa, I think of the actress. Okay, I'll stop trying to get the names right. You guys get the point. You know, put some nice faces in the names, some nice imagery and things, but the books are the real deal for me. So, you guys, let me know down below what you think of all this drama. If you don't follow Game of Thrones, you're watching up to this point, maybe, I don't know, just get out the popcorn because it's going to get bad next week when the finale comes because what the spoilers are saying is not what a lot of people want. And yeah, see you next time.